Hey, Nikki. Okay, here's your video. Uh, go ahead and follow this, and uh, let's see if we can help you lose that weight, okay? I'm going to go ahead and put you on a 30-second uh, interval training. So you're going to do each exercise for 30 seconds, and then go on to the next one. So just follow along. Uh, you might have to view the, the video a couple times to get it, but you'll get it. So, Okay, here we go. I'm going to set the timer, and we're starting with squats. Now, if any of these exercises bother your, your legs or any of the other things you're telling me about, just discontinue them or give me a call and we'll talk about it. Slow and control, keep your, keep your back nice and straight. You're dropping straight down and using all of your legs. Okay, then next you're gonna go to uh, shoulder raises with a, with a resistance band. You can do them at your side like this or in, or in front of you. Keep the tension on them. Thirty seconds. We're going to make you sweat here. Next we're going to lunges. Control yourself on the way down. You can use weights after you get your form down if you want to, but you don't necessarily need to. Okay, you're going to grab down and just bring your knees up. I know these don't look like much, but they will start to burn. <laughs> and then drop down into a plank and hold that. I don't know if you can hear, but I'm already breathing heavy. Thirty second break, and then we're going to hit all those exercises once again. Anybody else, if you've stumbled across this video, I'm doing this for Nikki, who's doing my uh, personal training program that she got online. Uh, feel free to uh, check it out. It's magnetism-x.com. Okay, here we go. Squats. Now, you're gonna, this time I'm going to do plie squats. You're going to have your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointing out, you come up and squeeze your glutes, and on the way down you stretch out, you're going to really feel that in the inner thigh. Shoulder raises again. You're just pumping them up. Use a band that's heavy enough that you're going to feel that resistance, but not so heavy that you can't do it for 30 seconds. Then you're going to go to lunges.
Drop down, bring your knees up. second break. Now you can do this, these giant sets as many times as you want. I would suggest at least two. We're going to go ahead and do them three times. I want to get a good workout in. I want you to get a good workout in too. Uh, all of this is no impact, so you shouldn't have any problems with your shins, uh, your shin splints. 30 second break, handy. Here we go. Last set of squats. And then we're going to the next giant set. Keep your back nice and straight, sticking your butt out, using just your hamstrings and your glutes at the bottom, your quads up at the top, squeeze up. Okay. Shoulder raises with the band. taking that short step and dropping straight down and it puts all the pressure, at least as far as I'm concerned, puts all the pressure on your knee. Okay, uh, horizontal knee raises. side laterals. We're going to do push-ups or negative push-ups. I'll show you what I mean. We're going to do my version of V-ups and then we're going to do some arm curls with the resistance band. Oh man, sweating already. Side laterals. We're going to start with the right. We drop straight down and spring back up. Keep your back nice and straight. All the movements in your legs. If you're just starting out, I have a lot of different videos. Well, some different videos on my YouTube page here. If you're just beginning, you may want to try Michael's workout. It's a little bit less impacting, a little bit slower pace. Okay, next we're doing 
V ups. Oh no, we're doing push ups. Okay. Okay, if you can't do push ups, go up and go down slow. Holding it, resisting, down, 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 slow, all the way, all the way. Okay, now here's my version of the V ups. Pull your legs up, just like that. Okay, uh, 
V-ups. No oh, push-ups. <laughs> if you have to do push-ups off your knees, that's fine too. Or just go up into that position and hold it and slowly go down. Slowly go down. If you're really heavy, this will be a hard one for you. Just slowly go down. Yep. Set number three. You see my shirt starting to sweat through. It's a good workout. It's not high impact. You're not dropping down to the, to the ground. You're not putting a huge strain on your joints. It's just slow and controlled. Okay, first tricep kickbacks. You're bent over, taking a weight squeeze and squeeze it all the way to the top. Stum down, squeeze, all the way to the top. Use a weight that's light enough that you can do these with, but heavy enough that it's a challenge. Okay, hammer curls. Palms facing in, and you're just up and down. Stay tight through the full range of motion. On the way up, you're working your biceps. On the way down, staying tight, you're working your triceps. And you're pumping blood into those muscles. And since you've already hit your triceps on that last exercise, your arms will be feeling this. Donkey kicks. You're down like this. Squeeze your butt. Put your hands on your butt and you'll feel how tight it gets. Ladies, you want that big round butt? Okay, 30 second break. That's how you get them. Those squats like that come up and squeeze that muscle. Okay, 30 second break. So Nikki, after you do this ex after you do this program, I want you to call me. I want to hear how it, how it is for you. Here we go. 
And if you want me to do a video for you, get my program, drop me a line, and I'd be more than happy to. Tell me what your weak areas are, what you want to work on, and I'll put something together that'll work those muscle groups. Hammer curls, back up, pump spacing in, pump the muscles. Stay tight through the full range of motion. You're not throwing the weight up, you're bringing it up and controlling it on the way down. Squats. Wide, toes out. Can you see the sweat dripping off me? I told you it was going to be a good one, Nikki. Second break and on to three giant set number three here. Normally I would talk, but <laughs> this one's working. Tricep kickbacks. Bend over. Push them up. Sometimes you have to dig deep. If you're trying to lose weight, you want to burn those calories, you got to work hard. But remember, it's next to impossible, if, especially if you're 30, 40, or more pounds overweight, it's almost impossible to work out and burn those calories, to burn that fat off without a proper diet. You have to get on a proper diet, otherwise you're fighting a losing battle. You have to burn 3,500 calories to lose one pound of body fat. So even in a fantastic workout, amazing workout, maybe you burn 800 to 1,000 calories, which is huge. And say you're taking in just the calories you need to lose, just to sustain, it's going to take you three and a half days to lose one pound of body fat. But you have one Coke, one candy bar, one whatever your cheat is, and then all of a sudden it stretches it out more and more. Then all of a sudden you're looking at 
a week to lose a pound. And if you're 80 pounds overweight, you have to get on a good diet. People, if you're obese, I want to be your new best friend. If you need to lose weight, go on my website, magnetism-x.com and drop me an email. 30 second break. No, that was it. We're done. That was set number three. So Nikki, there's your workout. Do that every other day to start with for the first week or two and do your walking or your treadmill or whatever on alternate days. Stay with the diet and the program. And, uh, and stay in touch. Let me, know how, uh, let me know how it's going. Let me know if we need to tweak this workout at all. If anything in here bothers you, some of the issues you talk, we talked about, let me know, I'll make a change. I'll shoot you a new video. Uh, everybody else, it's Thursday, the weekend's coming up. I'm gonna try to get this online tonight, so you have all weekend to think about it. How's the rest of your life gonna be? Is it gonna be spent wishing that you would have made that choice to, to make that, <coughs> excuse me, to make that commitment to lose the weight? Or are you gonna look back and go, I'm so glad I made the commitment and I only wish I would have done it sooner. This choice is yours. Hey everybody, take care, God bless.